Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Worst F here guys and we continue on our road to Dark Dimension 3. If you missed part 1 of the series, we talked about all of the heroes that I'm planning on taking to gear tier 14. So let's check it out guys. We're well on our way to getting there. So first off, as you can see here, Phoenix was my first gear tier 14. She is absolutely a broken hero. She's unbelievable. So impressive, so powerful. So she makes a huge difference on your roster. You gotta have her on your team. I recommend if you have her... <laughs> definitely put her up there as your top five um gear tier 14 hero moving on here black bolt is the second hero i was able to get the gear tier 14 don't do it to him don't do it to him oh my god this guy is phenomenal guys he's also one of the best heroes in the game currently right now so you i definitely definitely recommend working on your black bolt if you've unlocked them so far if you haven't unlocked them well be on the lookout his legendary event is coming out soon, but they did push that back a couple of weeks. So, gives you a little bit more time to get your Asgardians, alright? I'm working on those as well because um, I'm very close to 6. You know what I'm saying? Next time he comes around, I should be able to get him to 6 stars and unlock his 6th red star as well. Alright, moving on. We are looking at the third hero that I'm going to take to gear tier 14. And that is Ultron. Check it out, guys. I'm one, literally one item away from Ultron being gear tier 14. And I'm crazy excited, but it's this one, the Superior Tai Chi Conductor. This is the one that I've been missing for such a long time, and I can't seem to find it anywhere. But, because I'm not wailing out like a lot of these other people are doing right now, I'm just kind of mid-tier wailing, alright? I'm not going crazy. But, at this point now, guys, I'm so anxious to get them done. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to reset the shops here. So, we're going to go ahead and reset. Let's hope that I can find one of the Tai Chi Conductors here. All right, nothing there. Um, I'm not going to buy those just yet. I think I got enough of those. All right, one more reset here. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Dang it. Ah, so unlucky. Mm, I'm going to buy these. Slowly work on him there. All right, so we got one more chance here, guys. I'm going to go into the arena store here. I do need these, so I'm going to buy some of these. Do I want to spend it on Sif, though? Sif is getting close. Alright, not yet, not yet. I'm going to refresh here. Another Sif. Come on, Tai Chi Conductors! Damn it! I'm too unlucky right now. I don't think I need those right now. I'm going to hold off on that. Dang, man. So unlucky. Our last one, guys. I don't want to go past 100 cores. 50 cores is the maximum. Last one is my last chance. You only get one shot. This doesn't want to happen, man. I, I'm going to buy these, though. I've been resetting these every day, and it just does not want to happen. It just does not want me to get this Ultron to gear tier 14 for the love of me. No matter what I do, it's just not happening, guys. It's pathetic. But anyways, he's close enough, so it's not like he's going to put me over the edge either way right now, because I still need two more characters to be able to get in. So let's take a look here at what my other options are going to be now. So... Mr. Sinister is going to be my fourth. I've already made up my mind. I gave him these items here. The only things we're missing for him is the superior basic catalyst. From every single item, that's all I need. If I get the superior basic catalyst, I am good to go on everything else. So we need about, let's see, I think you need 300 for each one. So actually, no, I need 120 for this one. So that's good. Let's go ahead and pop some off over here. Boom. And can we refresh this? Not yet. All right. So we're getting close to that one there. And this last item here is the same exact thing. It's... No, it's actually the superior. Mm, can't even open these yet. All right. So what am I... Uh, four away. Four of these compounds. And he's almost done. So that's my fourth character right there. And then the fifth one is a little bit trickier. Uh, make up my mind. A couple of different options I got going on here, guys. And if you want... Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think would be the best fifth for that team. Um, but it's not about what the best team is. I mean, what the best is going to be. It's all about which one I can take the fastest. And also fits really well too. So in my opinion, I think that I'm going to go with Nick Fury. I've already got these three items. And then all I really need for the rest of them is Superior Basic Catalyst. Some more of those there. I think it's some more Basic Catalyst here. Yep, yep. So, 
I mean, everybody needs those, but I've got, and there's just more basic catalysts as well there because I've got his unique. So yeah, that's it. Just a bunch of basic catalysts and then he can be all set too and be ready to go into uh, Dark Dimension 3. Hmm. Tough choice there as well. I mean, there's other heroes that want to get in there for now. Uh, another option for me is going to be Yo-Yo. She just needs basic catalysts as well. I believe I got all her uniques ready to go here. Except these ones. The superior range. Hmm. Syringe. I'm very close, guys. Very close. I think within the next week, I will be able to get in there and uh, make some good progress on that. So for now, that's it for that. We're going to jump into a couple of Blitz battles here. We got a Red Skull going on right now. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of battles we're going to do. And uh, let's see how we're going to handle them. We're going to go to the top of the roster and uh, go into my power armor my best and brightest team here this team is going to actually lose a little bit of power once iron heart comes out but hmm i do not like any of my matchups here to be honest even defenders can beat them down if they take out the rescue here so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down a little bit skip this team for now go to the next team let's go into my x-men there we go. Much better matchups here. So we're going to go into X-Men right now. Guarantee a win. Uh, what I re recommend for Blitz, guys, is if you can guarantee a win, you got to take it. If you're not sure, 50-50, maybe don't take the chance. Switch up your team, get a different opponent, try to win with that one, and then go back and get a better matchup. Because the one loss can really set you back, man. Especially when you're at this level right now. Each battle, for me, gives me about 100,000 uh, points especially all the way at the top talking about fantastic four there so losing that really does hurt in the long run here especially when you're trying to do really well so let's keep going here let's see how the great x-men are gonna do here well they stunned phoenix which is not good but i never really worry about these guys here at all to be honest there's two teams right now that i never hardly ever worry about well there's a few teams that i never worry about but these they're one of them uh, the Brotherhood is also incredibly, really, really good. But right, we're not going to go into his ultimate right now because we're going to try to wait for Phoenix to die. You just get a lot more bang for your buck that way. Alright, there we go. See, with the defense up, he does anything. And the flex there. Wow. Fantastic! Mm, we got nothing we can give to them right now. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to continue on the path. Looks like Phoenix will never even get taken down at this point now because... I just go ahead boom wow insane bang and you know it's a good match when you don't even have to go into phoenix's dark phoenix mode and you can win that's just too easy man i love this team so freaking much right now guys all right so we're gonna go off to the second team that i absolutely love right now and that's gonna be the next hero that i got at gear tier 14 so as you can see here i'm trying to show off my gear tier 14 heroes so we got phoenix in action there and then we're gonna jump down and take a look at our main man, Black Bolt. But I'm gonna give you guys a little inside tip, all right? How to do a little bit better in these blitzes. And um, here's the tip. So right now I wanna use my Inhumans team, right? But keep in mind guys that each team in blitz, your opponent is going to remain the same whether you go up 10% higher or 10% lower of their total team power. So, if I want to fight with my Inhumans and to get a few more points, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull a team from Fantastic Four here. So we're going to go ahead we're going to pick out a team. Fantastic Four. I got 87, 87, and 86. So I got to pick out a team that I can actually win. I believe this team should be fine. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch our team. We're not going to fight with them because they're the team that actually pulled them. Which means their team level... You know what I mean? Their team power... Is that's how many points you're going to get. We're going to go into this team here. They're about 15,000 lower. I should remain the same opponent. You see, we kept the same opponent, which means we keep the same amount of points. Even though we're 15,000 less total power. So now I can go ahead and... Uh, now, you got to keep in mind that you, got, you have to win this battle. You can't take it and lose it. But I think I don't really worry about these guys too much. Even though Karnak is only three stars, three red as well. And my yo-yo is only four and four for her. I need to work on them quite a bit here, but I think I believe they can win this. And uh, once this battle is done, you're going to be able to see how many points that they actually generate. All right. So if you fight with that team, this is why I always advise don't fight going downwards, guys, because 
I mean, don't fight going upwards, guys, because you're missing out on a lot of points. Meaning, so let's, I'm going to give you an example. So let's say I'm going upwards, and the team that I picked my opponent were these guys. Uh, let me just focus down one second here. I want to make sure we take out Minerva, and I'll go back into some uh, Blitz tips for you guys in just a second here. So, um, Thanos, damn, he's six red stars. He might resist this, but if he doesn't resist it, Oh, actually, never mind. Karnex focus is incredibly high when he uses that ability there, so nobody can resist. We put the disrupt on him there, so he can't taunt us, which is incredible. That really, that really could make the difference right there. We're gonna go ahead and hit all three of these with a slow. All right, we get hit with the bleeding there, which is okay. She's got our deflect here, but it's fine. Boom, boom. She's dead because she is villain tech. Don't forget, guys. Black Bolt when he's facing villain tech, it's a, it's a kill. All right, that massive AOE, we took that like champs. And at this point now, we're going to have to reduce a little bit of our speed here. Let's go ahead with an AOE. We're going to hit with a couple of AOEs right here. Come on, offense down on her. Nope, she resisted that. Out, out. He's gone. Let's see what he can do here. Gear tier 14, Black Bolt. Oh, she's almost dead, but she's not quite dead. She gains a little bit of health back. This is getting a little tight here, guys. Boom, get that assist. Bah, from Black Bolt. That's why I wanted from. He's, she's dead. Pretty much GG at this point now. Thanos. Cannot withstand the power of three Inhumans all at once. Boom! That's how it's done, boys. So we got the win there. We got 87,000 points out of this team here. And I'm going to show you what the stra how the strategy really works. So 87,000 points. Now, they're going to be generating a whole new team here. Let's see what they get out of it. All right, so take a look. From the Inhumans now, 82, 82, 78. So these are the three new teams that they can get. But because their team power is a little bit lower than the Fantastic Four, which was 300, they get less points. So instead of fighting upwards, so if I had gotten this opponent here, and I'm going to show you the opposite around, right? So we got this opponent from my Inhumans, and if I'm fighting upwards here, and let's say that the next team I go into, well, the next team we have is Asgardians, which are pretty similar. They're only 3,000 above, so it's not that big of a difference. But let's say the next team power is Fantastic Four. Now, we go into Fantastic Four, and they keep the same opponent. So instead of them getting 87,000, right? Now, we're looking at 83, 82, and 78. So if you pick, let's say this was a shitty team, and you pick this team, you missed out on 9,000 points, guys. You know what I mean? That's a lot of points that you're giving up per battle, fighting upwards. You don't want to do that, guys. Believe me, you always want to fight downwards, right? And preferably with the opponent that you choose from... So that team was generated from the Inhumans there. So instead of fighting with the Inhumans, we're going to go downward. The Inhumans here. We're going to go downward. So keep in mind 10%. All right. So 10% always down. So let's see here. Hmm. So 10% of that, what is it? 20 something thousand. It's about 20. I'm guessing. I'm not even sure to be honest, but I would say about 25,000. No more than that. So that's about 20. Let's see. Well, Brotherhood can definitely keep them, but they're only 87, 78, 75. All right, this might be a little bit of a stretch here. Let's see if they can keep the same opponents. Yes! Booyakasha! So, you see, same opponents. I can get the same amount, and this team I can surely beat with this team here. And then I'll be able to get a lot more points. And at 273,000, this team will generate something around 70. I'm guessing this will probably get something around like 78 here, 76. So, I'll be giving up a ton of points. And if I was able to beat this team, even more points, but I don't think I can, but I can definitely beat this team, all right? So that's a quick little blitz tip on top of the progress of Dark Dimension 3, guys. So keep that in mind, all right? And I'm going to end it off here. I'm going to go ahead and do some more blitzing, but this video will be over now. And I will catch you guys on the next video, all right? Hope that helped you guys out a little bit. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night, everybody. Peace out.